Hey guys, Stacy here, another Let's Play Star Stable. I'm officially over on my new computer now, super excited about it, so <laughs> hopefully it all goes well. It's gonna be kind of a, a test video, I guess, for it. Everything seems to be working well, but of course there's going to be getting more uh, done with the sound and stuff. I think I adjusted that already a little bit. We'll see how it works out. <laughs> so there's gonna be some uh, playing around with it, at least for the next few episodes. Um, I'm here in Marley's farm because apparently now I can do the final Christmas present quest with Marley, even though I couldn't do it before. I don't know. Maybe I had to wait a day. So here we are. Let's get started. Howdy, kittens. Hey, now it's time for Marley's famous hunt for the Christmas present. There are lots of people hiding their presents at this time of year, but the best hunting is to be found right here. Ho oh, ho. Are you ready, kittens? Ready, set, search. I knew when I ran by, a thing popped up that said, hey, there's a present in the area, and I thought it was just a glitch. Oh, you leave the area where the present is. But I guess that means I can do his present thing now. I'll have to remember that on Nova. I did one Nova video today, but not, I'll, I'll be doing, I do like two or three a week. So I'll check it on hers as well. Much warmer. <gasps> is that it? Yes! I loved uh, James's present of the bows, so hopefully this will be a cool present too. Let's see. Yeehaw! You found the final Christmas present. Well done. Here's your reward. Ooh, a saddle pad. Ooh, it's orange. That's gonna go to Giga Spider. Yep. Nice. I'm still on Wolf Pepper today because he's just so fast. I love riding him. Look how quick he is. Whoosh. <laughs> We're on our way now to visit Barney uh, to work on the vest quest. I believe he was going to get beetroot juice for us for dye. Hey, Cadence, I've harvested the beetroots now. They have the most wonderful red color you can imagine. I have squeezed them for you so the die is ready. I can promise you that the tailor will be happy. Very happy. Yeehaw! Yeehaw, Donald the tailor! Oh, jumping's not allowed. Thank you, Kate, in such beautiful red color. It's above my expectations. Barney grows high quality beetroots. Oh, green. Green as a jealous druid. Now I need some green color for your vest. Old Mrs. Holdsworth in Moreland used to come here, and she can make a green dye from bushes growing here in Moreland. She has a special way of making dye by boiling the leaves in water with olive oil in it. Ask her how it's done, but don't forget to get some olive oil from Harold. From Harold, okay. Oh, Mrs. Holdsworth, who makes green dye, has a secret ingredient that helps her get a really rich green color. But everyone knows the secret ingredient is olive oil, so you should get some from Harold. He's standing by the fountain in the middle of the village. Take the oil to Mrs. Holdsworth. Maybe you shouldn't just be telling people what her secret ingredient is. Maybe she wouldn't like that. Hey, are you guys twins, you and Harold? Of course I have the olive oil for Mrs. Holdsworth. Here you are, Cadence. This is a bottle of our finest olive oil. Bring it to Mrs. Holdsworth, but be careful not to drop it. The bottle is oily and slippery. The olive oil is supposed to be inside the bottle, Harold. Not on it. Mrs. Holdsworth. Hello, Cadence. It's been a while. I'm pretty sure we visited her last episode. Green dye, you say? Of course. The bushes here in Moland have large, fine leaves, which I can boil to make green dye. But I use a secret ingredient. Olive oil. Oh, we have your olive oil. Thank you, Cadence. This will be perfect to make the green dye. The bushes usually have one leaf, which is greener and finer than all the others. Find and pick that leaf. Pick a dozen of those leaves from the bushes around here. When you've brought them to me, I can start making the green dye just as nice as the color the Keepers of Aideen use for their clothes. Whoop whoop. Wicked green clothes. Coming up. Ooh, 
12. Okay. We're on the hunt. 4 of 12. Well, now I wish we could do more end of Christmas quests because the rewards are pretty cool. <laughs> Just thinking about that saddle pad. I wonder if there's more matching stuff for it. I don't know. What'd you guys get? Let me know. Two more. This should be 11 and 12. Done. Done. Oops. Don't hit the table. Thank you so much, Cadence. I'll start making the dye now. It'll be ready tomorrow. Come back then. Oh. While I prepare the dye, you can go talk to the smith, Conrad. I heard that he has made something for you, which he's been working on for a long time. Oh. Ooh. Thank you. Let's go visit Conrad, my bestie. You may also have noticed that I have on gloves, because <laughs> my fingers get very, very cold working on the computer. And we've had some unexpected snow lately, so it is very, very cold out. Something like 12 degrees. <laughs> Hello, Conrad. I hear you have something for me. Cadence, you're exactly the person I wanted to see right now. I finally finished the horseshoes I promised you. They look great. Take them and use them on your nice companion, Wolf Pepper. Okay, what do you have for me? You are late. When the sun came up, you weren't here, so I went to Fort Pinta myself and installed my masterwork of a lock. It is perfect. Oh, he's talking about on the pet shop door, I think. Have a look at my handiwork the next time you are passing the pet store in Fort Pinta. Ride well, Cadence. Okay. And we're going to put some horseshoes on Wolf Pepper. Adorable. Okay, guard. We had Conrad install a lock. Report! The lock is delivered and installed. Excellent. Dismissed. We're going to say a quick hello to Sabrina Seafeather of the Alpha Crows on Strawberry Vanilla. Sounds like an ice cream. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, and I hope you have a blast. I've returned to glorious Northlink because I really want to get these gondolas finished. <laughs> they seem so cool. And I have a few quests with, uh, what's his name up at the observatory? Mario. So we need to get up there and see him. There we go. The foundations are set. I realized last night that we need something else. We need a crane to hang up the cables. Ask the guy down at Northlink if he has a crane to lend us. We'll just borrow all their stuff. We hate that they're here and destroying our land, but we're gonna borrow all their equipment. I guess that stops them from using it, so. It's okay. Hey, guy. Crew leader. Oh, Miss Morse is still there. A crane? Yes, I do have one. What a woman, Cadence. She is perfect, except for maybe that she never lets me win a single game. She's a genius when it comes to video games. Psst. You need to help me. I really want to propose to her. That was fast. I have bought a ring, but it isn't enough. Find a gift for her that really shows her how much I really care for her, and my crane is yours for as long as you need it. She loves pole bending as much as I do. Maybe something to do with that? Oh my gosh. I don't even know where to begin. Did we get something on our map for this? What do we get her? She likes pole bending, huh? She is part of a very small group of people who enjoy pole bending. Wonderful yet rare group of people. Alright, so the only thing I can think to do is come to the pole bending area. Maybe we could get her a pole? I don't know. Well, I guess we can talk to Josh. Oh, okay, good. A gift that has something to do with pole bending? Hmm. Okay, Cadence, I'll give my all for love. Take my trophy that I won in the pole bending world championship a few years ago. What do you think? It isn't very romantic, I know, but speak with Tan. Maybe she can help you make it a bit more romantic. I think that's kind of awkward to take somebody else's uh, trophy and give it as a present. No? 
Unless Miss Morse is like a really big fan of Josh. I don't know. Weird. Weird. Romance, if there is anyone who understands that, it is me. If I can just borrow the trophy for a second, I'll make it storybook romantic. Just hold on. Just look at that. Completely pink. Of course you said it. She, you said she was a little older. This might need a little more. Speak with Mrs. Holdsworth. She is as old as the hills. There's no need to be rude to her. <laughs> Don't be rude to Mrs. Holdsworth. Mrs. Holdsworth, we have a romantic trophy. Aha, I understand what you mean. It feels a little childish to me, too. A little more class and style is what this trophy needs. Trophy! <laughs> I know exactly what this needs. Give me a minute. Oh, flowers. There we go. I've planted dandelions in it. Elegant, classic, and tasteful. I put it on the table over there. Look how great it looks. It needs more, you think? She loves heavy metal, you say? Speak with the guys down near Dark Horse Landing Place. They look like the heavy metal type. Heavy metal? Well, there it is. It's kind of cool as a planter. That's not a bad idea after all. Thanks, Mrs. Holdsworth. You're the best. Heavy metal brews. Whoa! Don't you love when you burst through some bushes and run into stuff? Happens to me more often than it should. Hey bros, what's going on? Heavy metal, heavy metal time. Ew, that is a really ugly trophy. It is just so boring. Don't worry, I'll fix it so that it is cool. Give it to me. Look now, cool right? I glued a bunch of skulls on it. Yeah, we love skulls. Now it is super cool. Who wouldn't want something this awesome? Here you go, now get out of here. Oh, I totally want it. He didn't have to throw it on the ground. Come on now, guy. I love skulls. That's awesome. She's gonna love it. Yeah. Hey, hey, Northlink guy. We got your sweet trophy, man. Wow, Cadence, I have tears in my eyes. That is so amazing. Something is missing. Something that says it is from me. I just need to add a little something. There, now it is perfect. I've welded a little excavator on the top so she always thinks of me when she sees it. Can you give it to her for me? I'm too shy. Cross your fingers and hope that she likes it. She's right here. You should. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I should have taken a picture of it. I totally forgot. Here, Mrs. Morris. This guy standing right next to you has a gift for you. What is this here? I think I'm going to faint. It is the nicest thing I've ever seen. Nobody has ever given me a gift like this. Banked really is the perfect man. Banked, I love you. We're matchmakers, even outside of Kitty Powers. Oh, Cadence, Banked is truly the world's kindest man. I will make sure he sends up the crane right away. We'll just play a little bit more of the pole bending first. Ride over and speak with the foreman now. I'm so glad they're happy. I did it. It was a lot of work, bro, but I got the crane for you. So the crane is on its way. Great job. Oh, glad to help. So I noticed earlier when I came in to turn in my uh, race with the Baroness that she has a quest for us. Cadence, dearest, would you be able to help me with a tiny matter? You see, a distant relative of mine has arrived at the mansion and asked me to fulfill, help me fulfill his dream. That's an awkward sentence. You see, a distant relative of mine has arrived at the mansion and asked me to help him or her, oh, it's a him, fulfill his dream. I would love to help him, but I simply don't have the time for it. Being such a resourceful person, maybe you could do it for me. Thanks, Cadence. You're truly a great help. You will find my relative, Carl Franz of Silverfork, somewhere close by. Ride to him and put yourself at his disposal. What he wants? I believe he wanted to open a restaurant here, if I'm not mistaken. You'll have to ask him yourself, Cadence. See you later. Ooh, a restaurant? That would be fun. Where are you, guy? 
Over here? Yep. Hey, guy. Carl from... Oh, he's got a monocle, too. We're monocle bros. Hey. Good day, my dear. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Cadence, quite the exotic name for here on the island of my ancestors. It is so exciting to finally be here. I'm going to start a restaurant here, you understand? Why? If there is anything I could possibly offer to this island, it is the culinary arts from my continent, and I definitely want to do my part for the island where my ancestors lived and died. Wait, no! All of my orders are blowing away! Oh, and I thought I'd prepared everything perfectly. What paper it was? Oh. It was the order for tables, chairs, cushions, tablecloths, chinaware, everything one needs to start a restaurant. That and all my notes on appetizers, warm dishes, desserts, and which wines would go with everything. I've planned this for several years, noted down every little detail, and now I've lost it all. If I may have a copy on my computer? Unfortunately, no, I don't trust modern appliances, and writing on a keyboard is so inelegant. No, give me an old-fashioned fountain pen and proper paper. If I've copied any notes sometime? No, I don't trust modern appliances, I told you. What if the copy machine swallowed my notes? Then they'd be gone forever. Like they are now. What do we do now? Maybe you could find my notes? You can? Thanks! I'll just wait here. Good luck. What a weird dude. But I bet his restaurant's going to be fabulous! I'll eat there. Hopefully for free after this. Oh! Oh! They're just blowing in the wind. Okay. Number two. Come back here! Oh gosh, it's moving. <laughs> One more. Aha! Quickly before it runs away. Blows away. Got it. This guy's gonna be fun. I like doing his accent. <laughs> All my notes is all. You're a true friend, Cadence. I bow my head to you. I will never forget this. Listen, could you help me give these orders to the right people here in Jorvik? Unfortunately, I don't know anyone here and I don't want to be duped. You can? Thanks. Take a look at these. Take a look at these! Here's an order for tables and chairs. Look, do you notice I've made designs and sketches for everything? It'll be perfect. Who do you think can make tables and chairs on the island? Conrad Marston, the smith? Never heard of him. Is he good? The best on the island, you say? All right, then he is precisely the one you'll give this order to. Here's a note with the order, design blueprints, and thoughts I've noted down during the years. Using these, he'll get it precisely the way I want it. Good luck. Who else do we have? To make my guests sit puffier than puff, I've studied chair cushions extensively for years. That must have been horridly boring. And now I've finally succeeded designing the perfect cushion. It's amazingly lovely to sit upon and divinely beautiful. Do you know of anyone who could manufacture them here in Jorvik? The tailor in Silverglade, you say? Do you know him? But if you have faith in his craft, I'll pass him the order. Here's the drawings for the cushions in a fabulous pattern for which to sew them. Ask him to only use the best materials available. Don't forget. Good luck. What's this one? Oh, I didn't get to see it. <laughs> when I serve my guests, I want them to dine of the best kitchenware there is. They'll have the finest cutlery and drink of the finest glassware. Here's a list I've compiled over the years containing the best I've seen, detailing precisely what I'm looking for. Then there's a list of elegant vases, pictures, and other things in which I want to use to decorate the restaurant to give it that important, exclusive atmosphere. Do you know of someone who could find all of this for me? James. Who's that? A guy who can fix almost everything, you say? All right. He seems like the one to receive this order, then. Give it to him. Good luck. All right. So James, Conrad, and Donald, the tailor. Hey, Donald. We have something special for you. In order for cushion, chair cushions, and tablecloth? Well, I don't have that much in need of doing right now. I think I can manage. That's good. 
Let me see these drawings. Hmm, these cushions will be incredibly beautiful. Truly a masterly design. World class. Unfortunately, I cannot make them. I lack all the materials he specifies. And I've never even heard of this sewing technique using triple overlock. I'll do the best I can. It'll work out nicely. Just wait and see. The tablecloth? Well, I'll take some nice looking leftover fabrics and make some adjustments. It'll be fine. I think. I hope. Tell call friends I'll deliver his order tomorrow. Perfect. James, something special for you too, bro. Order for Chinaware. Chinaware and decorations. Let me see that list. Hmm, this will be expensive. Lovely. Let's have a look at this list. Hmm, that I don't have. Or that. No, not that either. Actually, I don't have anything that he's written down in his list, but I can procure Chinaware and decorations just as good. No problem, you could trust me. It's gonna be expensive though, but if your name is Carl Franz, I take it that money isn't an issue. I get that. Let's see, it says here, 100 crystal glasses from Paris's best glass maker. I'll borrow some water glasses from the disco, that'll do. 10 antique vases from the Ming Dynasty. I'll just take a few buckets from the stable, he won't notice the difference. Oh, you're still here at Cadence? I have to work, but tell him I'll make the delivery tomorrow. I don't know how well that's gonna go. <laughs> Conrad, something special for you. Thanks for my new horseshoes, by the way. They're fabulous. An order for tables and chairs for a restaurant? Hmm. All these sketches and other kinds of paper. The only thing they're good for is feeding the fire in my forge. I'll craft the finest tables and chairs Jorvik's ever seen. But I will never follow anyone else's blueprints. This is how it's always been and ever will be. Tell Call Franz's order will be done by tomorrow. Tables and chairs of the best quality will await him when he wakes up. Goodbye, Cadence. All right. Everyone's kind of doing their own thing. I hope Mr. Franz is okay with that. We're back, sir. They're working on your orders. How did it go with the tailor, Cadence? Oh, he couldn't sew the cushions after my specifications, but he was going to do his best. Do you think he'll pull through, Cadence? You look doubtful. I'm, I'm starting to get nervous. Uh-oh. How did it go? Could he procure everything in the list? No. Oh, he said he was going to get items of equal quality. That's lovely to hear. This James sounds like an honest person. It seems I did the right thing in giving him the order. He looked doubtful, Cadence. Do I need to worry? Oh, this is making me so nervous. How did it go with the smith? He tossed away my designs? Oh, no. You think everything will be fine? With Conrad, yes. James, I don't know. All right, then. We'll just have to hope for the best. I'm crossing my fingers for you, my friend, because I don't know what you're going to get. Sorry. All right, my excellent friends, thank you for joining me today, doing some more quests. I'm really interested in uh, this second cousin twice removes restaurant. <laughs> Sounds like it's going to be fun. I'm glad we got to do another of the cleanup Christmas quests. That was really cool. And two sort of large announcements uh, to stay tuned for. Um, I started playing on Cupcake Valley. Um, I'm not ready to give out any information yet because I'm trying to <laughs> take the character and level them up to the point where at least I can visit Fort Pinta and maybe jump <laughs> before I even consider like filming or uh, having a meetup. There will be a meetup. It will be sometime in the near future. I don't have it planned yet. I'm sorry, but it's happening. So it will be soon. So that account is getting situated. And also, everyone has been asking me a lot lately about doing another giveaway. So I've been talking to Star Stable and that is also in the works. So no other information yet. You can ask all the questions you want. I don't have any answers for you though. <laughs> so it might not answer. But there is another giveaway coming very soon, hopefully. I'm hoping to plan it around my birthday is what I'm trying to do as a birthday Valentine's kind of celebration. So stay tuned for more information for that. Of course, there will always be a video up with information and details and um, all that good stuff. So hopefully Star Stable is going to take part. They're going to supply the uh, winning, the winnings, the present, the prize, and also uh, 
support it as far as promoting the giveaway and stuff as well. So we're working on that. It's going to be great and a lot of fun and I will be seeing you soon, Cupcake Valley. I'll do a video and let you guys know my character name and when that meetup's going to be and stuff. Um, so yay, I'm so excited. <laughs> I know you guys have been waiting a long time for both of those things. And Firestar, I will be visiting in the future once I get the Cupcake Valley stuff settled. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it worked out well. Like I said at the beginning, I don't know how it's going to sound or anything because I'm on my new computer and I need to work out the settings all over again. So <laughs> it's kind of a pain, but exciting at the same time. So anyway, I'm off probably to record some more Minecraft videos, uh, Minecraft story mode. I'm eager to start chapter two. So I will see you guys next time. Bye.